I'm going to demonstrate a little neat tool that Horth's Tools have got available that allows me to look at how many polygons in one layer are contained within a polygon of another layer. And so for me what I'm interested in is how much vegetation there is or how much of this green there is contained within each Landsat grid cell, which are, which are the individual black cells. So under Horth's Tools I go to Analysis Tools and Polygon in Polygon Analysis. And for my zonal layer, that's going to be my Landsat grid. And my summary polygon layer will be my tree crowns. Then everything I'm going to accept there has been the default and click OK. But it does take a little while to run, so I'll click Exit on this and bring up what I've already created. So what I'll show here is this the attribute table of the file that's already been created called Landsat Grid. So I open the attribute table and basically it's giving me information on the Landsat grid which is the exact same file that you had already created but it's added an extra two columns. So the area and the count. So the area is the amount of area of the, the tree crowns that occur within the, within the Landsat cells or individual grid polygons and the count is the number of those tree crown polygons that are occurring in there. Now what I want to do is to actually use the area as a percentage. Okay, so to do that, just bring this so it all fits on the screen, I'm going to go up to the table options here and go to add field. And the name of the field I'm going to add is called percent. And I'll accept all other defaults there. Now if I, if I right click, first of all if I have a look at this, the area column here, you'll be able to see that the, the value should range anywhere between 0 and 900 and I can sort that and see that basically any any cell now that has a value of 900 means that it's, it has, it's fully covered by the vegetation there so if I select a few of those for example and we'll have a look at which ones I've selected these cells here if I then turn off or change this so that we can see through it. You should see, and yes that's correct, that every single one of those cells is completely covered by the vegetation density or tree crown information. So we'll just remove that selection and continue with creating the percentage value here. If I right click on percentage and go to the field calculator, I can now let ARC know what the percentage column is or how it's calculated. And so what I'm going to do is to calculate it by using the area. So I'll go the area in the cell divided by 900. And 900 comes from the fact that each cell is 30 by 30 meters. Now to convert that to a percentage, I'll multiply it by 100. And once I'm happy with the, the formula that I've got there and make sure there's no syntax errors, I click OK. And as that calculates, you'll now see that any cell that has a value of 900 in it should have 100% vegetation density. And at the other end of the scale, where there's no tree crown information, there's 0% density there. So what we can now do is to actually display that layer, so our Landsat grid, based on the vegetation density that's occurring there. So if I go to the properties, what I want to do is to look at quantities, graduated colour, and change that to percentage. And so I've now got a range of 0 to 100 percent where the darker value cells are going to represent much more vegetation. What I do want to do though is change, it does say, it says the classification breaks are natural breaks and I want to change that to equal interval so I quickly classify and I change that to equal interval. Okay, so you'll now see that there's a, a range of 20 to 40 to 60, 80, 100, etc. And that's the way the data's been broken up and that changes on our display there. So if I click OK, you now see that these, that all the cells that have between 80 and 100% vegetation in them are this dark maroon colour and the lower values are in the lighter maroony brown colour. Now what we hope is that that actually also corresponds to the way the tree crown information is and that looks pretty good at this stage.